The latest odds for the new series of Strictly Come Dancing reveal Kay Adams as the least favorite to bring home the Glitter Ball trophy. The same bookmakers show Will Miller is the most backed celebrity contestant among people who have fancied a flutter on this year's glitzy competition. Strictly makes its long-awaited return to BBC screens on Friday and even though the professional partners have not been announced, the nation has been placing bets on who will be crowned champion. Unfortunately for fans of Loose Women star K, she has the double whammy of being the least backed contestant while also being the least favorite with the bookmakers too. You can get odds of 66-1-4K to be crowned Queen of the Ballroom at the Strictly finale in December. Ladbrokes have received the most bets for actor Will Miller to lift the trophy, however he is not their favorite to win the BBC show piece. Will is only the third favorite to win according to the bookmakers, with Fleurice their hot tip to reign supreme on the dance floor. The X Factor singer leads the way with country file presenter Helen Skelton, with odds of seven halves on offer if fans believe they have a chance to emulate previous winners like Rose Ailing Ellis and Bill Bailey. Alex Sapati of the bookmaking company said, this could go down as the closest Strictly series on record in terms of the betting. Despite Helen Skelton and Fleuriste being locked as joint favorites, our ponders currently reckon the value lies elsewhere, with Will Miller comfortably leading the way in the popularity charts. Will is also backed by Judge Craig Revel Horwood to be the 2022 winner too. The veteran judge announced, I'm looking forward to seeing Will, I've got to say. I think he's got a real charm about him and I think he'll be able to bring that onto the dance floor. Kay on the other hand is less confident of her own abilities on the dance floor, as her loose women co-star Nadia Sawala revealed. On the ITV show Nadia told viewers about a voice note the presenter had sent her before after her rehearsals. Nadia explained, she was obviously walking and she said, all right, I've made a terrible mistake signing up for this strictly, I don't know what I've done. Kay continued in her voice note, I don't know why I'm trying to be something I'm not, I've got to do it, I've signed the contract. The Scottish broadcaster admits she is not usually the first one to show off her moves. She told OK, I've always been the person sitting at the side of the dance floor nursing my drink. Looking at other people dancing and thinking it looks wonderful to be able to let go like that and enjoy music. But I can't do that. The professional partners of the celebrities will all be revealed on Friday's launch show. Due to coverage of the Queen's death, the stars have had to wait an extra week to perform live. The live show will kick off the day after and the predictions of the bookmakers will be there for the nation to see. Strictly Come Dancing returns on Friday September 23rd, on BBC One and BBC iPlayer. The professional partners of the celebrities will all be revealed on Friday's launch show. Due to coverage of the Queen's death, the stars have had to wait an extra week to perform live. The live show will kick off the day after and the predictions of the bookmakers will be there for the nation to see.